Billy Connolly, Mrs. Brown. Was that that was your first big acting break, wasn't it? Yeah. And is it because of that movie that you got invited to have dinner with the Queen? It, no, that was the uh, because I was friendly with Fergie at the time. That dates this story. Um, <laughs> and obviously you have to be on your best behaviour. Don't you have a particular trick that you do? Is it at dinner parties you do it, or is it buffets? Or what? Oh yeah, the thing. It's not a buffet. It was a, a thing. Myself and some actor friends did at Edinburgh Festival many years ago. Edinburgh Festival, you're often asked to these buffets with the Lord Mayor and people like that, and, it, and they give you the paper plate and the, those tomatoes and bits and stuff and a plastic fork and a drink, and so you can't do anything with either. There's no, <laughs> there's no way to put the drink down and your tomatoes keep rolling around. <laughs> it becomes like one of those little things you used to get to put ball bearings in Mickey Mouse's eyes. <laughs> So here's what you do if you're ever at one of those buffets. <laughs> it's the best. The only thing you can do is you put your willy on the plate. <laughs> and, and then you get some salad. <laughs> and you put it on the top. <laughs> Don't put dressing on. <laughs> you put the willy, and, and then you dare each other to go up and... No, you mustn't make a big mountain of it. That's... <laughs> You just do enough so to look as there's something lurking in the long grass. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then you just walk along <laughs> and, and, and mingle with people. Hello, how do you do? <laughs> so you show is excellent. <laughs> 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 and then you dare, you dare each other to talk. Go and talk to the Lord Mayor's wife. <laughs> <laughs> talk about salad. <laughs> oh, yes. Now they do a lovely salad here. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, and you can see the woman going. I didn't see the sausage rolls. <laughs> but beware, because those white plastic forks. <laughs> oh, <are> very sharp. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be pissing like a fountain for. <laughs> I was saying in the introduction, I mean, your success is extraordinary now. You know, I'm sitting beside the guy that's pulled on three and a half billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> My success has been all right. <laughs> Sorry to bring you down. <laughs> you walked out here high as a kite, <laughs> and now it's like, oh. <laughs> but no, but you must get stopped in the streets and stuff like that now. Aye, usually by people collecting for charity. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get asked to sign 25 copies. Uh, 25 pirate copies <laughs> of my own DVD. <laughs> <laughs> takes balls, man. <laughs> of course uh, I signed them. Yeah. Of course you do. Now, Lily, can you understand anything Not Kevin much. said? No. <laughs> I, I got something about balls at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, he said balls. Yeah, he did say balls. No, can you seriously not understand? Not very much. I, I was going to kind of question him as he was going along, but... <laughs> <laughs> I actually tried a show in America, I've done one gig. A guy complimented me, approached me after the set, and he goes, hey, man, are you actually Scottish? And, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yes. And he goes, fuck, man, your English is pretty good. <laughs> and, James, now, Scottish phrases, have you taught it? Because you've worked with Jessica a lot. Have you taught her any Scottish phrases or...? I don't think I've taught her too much, but I remember sitting here on this couch a while ago with, um... Uh, I was about to say Dame Meryl Streep, but she's not a dame. No, uh, she should be, you're she's right. She's American. Uh, yeah. She's an American <laughs> dame called Meryl Streep. And, uh, and I tried a Scottish phrase on her to see if she could understand what I was saying, so I'll try it on you. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. This place is pure hoaching me ball bags. <laughs> it's hoaching your ball bags? This place is pure hoaching me ball bags. This place is pure hoaching me ball bags. Yeah, but what does it mean? <laughs> it means that this place is making your balls feel... <laughs> it's good, it's good. Ba yeah. Protected. Kind of. Like it in a bank. This place is full of idiots, or idiots. Oh. Oh. That's not very right. nice to say. <laughs> <laughs> you said it to Meryl Streep. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it Robert Redford who was very keen on your English accent? Oh, so, yeah, I'm playing an American in this uh, film with Robert Redford, and 
I'd, uh, I'm playing an American, but I don't stay in the American accent in between takes and stuff. I find that quite annoying for some reason. So I, I go up to him and I'm like, here, here's the thing and blah, blah, blah. And what do you think? You think I should do this or do you think I should do that? And he'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Do the American accent? <laughs> I was like, I can't express myself properly if I'm like coming, if I'm acting in between takes. He says, well, can you do an English accent in between takes then? <gasps> I know. <laughs> I know. And I'm like, it's Robert Redford. Oh, you've kind of got to do what he asks. <laughs> But why do you want to do an English accent? Because he could understand that and he couldn't understand mine. <laughs> no. Tell you what. The modelling. I so don't understand the modelling. So yeah, this yeah. picture, I sort of oh. understand. <laughs> I kind of, that one, I mean, awful as it is, it sort of makes sense. This next one, was the cameraman <laughs> blind? What, what, like, that is not that's what, that's, and there's something that isn't a pose why, at all. I know. Why can't I even put my elbow on the, on the, on the, on, on the stool? <laughs> Something's going on there. That's just being an idiot. <laughs> That's just being, you don't know anything. You know, I don't know. Nobody gives you a book to say this is how you become an actor, this is what you do. You're just an idiot, you know, <laughs> drinking lager and having curry, and people say, but now you send, you're an actor. Did you send those pictures out to people? No, they were nothing to do with me. It was a, it was, it was a, it was a popular daily newspaper. Oh, so they were published? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That was you trying to be a mock? No, no, they were, no. They were published. They were published. Obviously, I was a, a style icon. Because, <laughs> <laughs> Alan, obviously, theatre is very important to you. Kind of cabaret brought you to America and all these amazing things. How many times did you do cabaret in the end? Oh, three. I did it in London uh, with Jane Horrocks, actually, who's, oh, yeah. who's playing the part that you played. Oh, is she? Yeah, Jane Horrocks and Carl Johnson. Oh, I'd my love dad. I must see that. And it's so funny, I was saying to Jane, that, you know, 20. Six years ago, she was my sexy co-star in Cabaret. Now she's my mum in a dustbin. That's <laughs> <laughs> show business. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the that's, acting industry for right. ladies. Yeah, for ladies. <laughs> well, like, that's it. But I did it in London, and then I did it on Broadway, and then I did it again on Broadway just a few years ago. I went back and did it again just to, before, I could, before I die. <laughs> <laughs> At which time did you have the thing where it was really hot? Do you know the story I'm talking it's about? Always hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, oh well, well when I got hit on the head. Yes, that was the, f the first time on Broadway. Oh. Okay. So what happened was I was uh, I was going to do a film, so I'd gone to LA for a costume fitting, and I came back and I my you know in the plane you get all funny your tubes get all funny. So I did a neti pot. Do you know that little thing you put salty water in a thing and you go up like this and it goes up your nose and comes. You know that thing. Yeah, I know that thing. Yeah, I love them. And then so it's like it's like a thing to clear out your tubes. Okay. Right? Uh, with salty water. Kosher salt, actually. Shout out to the Jews. That's good. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so I was uh, doing the show that night, and I'm sort of lounging provocatively, you know, on the top of the thing. And you know, like, when surfers get that surfer's drip thing? A bit, <laughs> an hour after the surfing, suddenly this stuff gushes out. Well, I'm just lounging at like that, and all of a sudden, a gush of water just comes out my nose and down my <laughs> bare chest. And I'm like, wow, not so sexy now. <laughs> and so I kind of, you know, amble over to the side of the stage and blow my nose. And, and, then, uh, and then I sort of had to get down the stairs and back to the, into the play. And because it was a different route that I was taking, because I was now off the side, I ran right into a light a big, huge uh, light, and, and it went... Gah, 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 gah. I made this huge divot in my head, and then for the rest of the, the first half, I was getting more and more woozy, <laughs> and I'd like, go to open a door in my hand, I couldn't find the handle, and I'd be like, sunny balls, like this. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then what was hilarious is at the interval, I went up, I collapsed, and my, I went out of my dressing room and collapsed, and the stage manager came up to my room and stood over me like this and went, Alan, do you think you'll be able to do the second <laughs> To go to the hospital. <laughs> so, and so then, and so there were all these people suddenly were in my room. They're all freaking out, you know. And I had to go to the hospital, and they were trying to get my clothes off. And I and I was just because I at the end of the first act, I had a swastika on my bum, and I lifted up my uh, coat, and that was at the spotlight on my cheek, and that was the end of the first act, like symbolised the rise of you know fascism. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, and um, my bum was a conduit to a political <laughs> message. And, well, it's uh, been a and, conduit for a lot of things. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Uh, yes. and, uh, so anyway, I was like, they were all trying to get quick out in the car, so you've got to go to the hospital. And I was just getting wet wipes and going like this, and like, what are you doing? I said, well, the doctor might be Jewish and I'll be angry. I have a <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then I got to the hospital, and it was indeed a very hot night. It was a summer night. And um, I was all like, I got tubes in me and wires and everything. And there was a lady who'd been in the audience, had fainted with heat stroke and was taken to the hospital and was in the next room to me. 
in that same hospital. Wow. And so they came in, and I was my mask on, and said, and there's a lady next door, and she was fainting, thing, and you know, blah, blah, would you go in and say hello to her? I was like, what? <laughs> and so, anyway, I heard them, and I'm in my trolley, in my little, you know, stretcher on wheels, what do you call it? And with tubes and everything. And uh, I heard them go, you know how you're so sad, you're so excited to go and see Alan coming? And she goes, oh, I waited for months for my ticket, I can't believe I missed seeing him. And they went, well, here he is! <laughs> <laughs> Have you done the zero gravity thing with your brother? No, I've been in a, in a plane with my brother. My brother was a fighter pilot in the RAF, and he took me up, he flew tornadoes, and uh, he, I managed to get a backseat trip in a tornado with him, which was extraordinary. Just because I'd never, I'd ne you know, I'd never seen him at his work, and there I could see just down the side, I could see uh, the, a bit of his helmet, I guess. And um, <laughs> he took it, we did a lap of Scotland in about an hour and a half, and it was extraordinary, but it's horribly... Um, it makes you so sick. It made, well, it made me very sick anyway. And I think he probably was desperately trying to make me very sick as well. <laughs> Did you pass out? I didn't pass out, no, no. I just puked. <laughs> the, most, the most humiliating part for me was when we, la when we got back, because you have to get helped out of those airplanes, mm. and, and there's a ground crew that come up on a ladder, and, <laughs> and you have to pass them your bag of puke. <laughs> That was so humiliating. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's never any duty free either. <laughs> you would think having uh, lots of children would keep you kind of young, tech savvy. You know, you'd know what's going on. But David Tennant, this has not happened for you. You recently found out that you got left behind in oh. the world of texting and things. Well, yeah, I was... I, now, when you start jobs, there's a... Because of the Me Too movement and the lots of, uh, you know, great strides forward are being made in making sure workplaces are safe. Yep. And yep. So, so now, different companies have different ways of coping with that. And I was... I had to... For a show I was doing, I had to sit and watch a video and prove that I'd watched this video from start to finish. And it very... takes you through things that are acceptable and not acceptable in the workplace. And then, right at the end of this sequence, it, uh, when it's talking about how to communicate uh, on your mobile phone and what's appropriate and what isn't appropriate, it says, and remember, the eggplant emoji is not just an eggplant. <laughs> and that's it! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm left going, what the fuck is an eggplant? <laughs> it's an aubergine, right? I mean, it's, but that's not what they mean. There's a whole... And it turns out... And I, this, I knew nothing about this. There's a whole kind of language... Yes, there is. ..usually based around foodstuffs. <laughs> <laughs> where they represent other things. Yeah. Yes. And asking someone out for a taco could easily be misinterpreted. <laughs> it turns out. Did you know that? <laughs> be careful. Did you know about this? Did you know about this? Yes, of <laughs> course. <laughs> Where you been? I mean, the eggplant kind of looks like it doesn't even look like an eggplant. It's, it's you know. And then you've got the peach. And, the peach. and then yeah. if, you start, if you start adding to that the raindrops and all, yeah. you can do anything. <laughs> It's a Don't innocent. <laughs> Don't come here with your. Oh, no, it's a, no, no, it's a minefield, clearly. Yes. But yeah. do you text? Do you have a smartphone? I do, yes. Okay, then I've no idea how that passed you by. That's weird. <laughs> because, because I thought the emojis were just meant to represent what they represented. I didn't know it was this whole kind of other language you had to learn. Can you get explicit emojis? That's what we need. Yes, <laughs> Apple needs to move forward and just call a vagina a vagina. Peering at it. What is that? Is that a movie? <laughs> and now you look very nice, but I thought, you know, you're a Scot. I thought you might be sporting, you know, the kilt on the red carpet. No, no. Do you ever do the kilt? Oh yeah, I've done the kilt. I've on done the, the red kilt. carpet. Not in the red carpet. No, I don't think. Oh, I you did. should do it. Yeah, maybe I should. A lot of people are going, yes, you have. <laughs> In Glasgow. Oh, I did! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, do you want to answer these questions for me? <laughs> By the way, this is fault. I mean, basically, did you move to America? She's from Scotland, but, but just goes wherever, wherever I go to support. That lady there with the glass. Knows, knows, <laughs> the, lady knows the answers <laughs> better than I do. So, okay. if I'm saying anything wrong, you, you'll keep me in line. Uh, apparently, she will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Minutes into the show. Yes, you have! <laughs> oh, so, so I, maybe... I, I wore a, a, a kilt at my sister's wedding, though, in, in, in Paisley, Scotland, and 
I had to go up and do a reading. And, and my mother and the family were in the front row. And of course, as you know, in Scotland, there's a certain rule to wearing the kilts. And, you know, I'm sitting like this. And I hear everybody's kneeling forward, you know, at the podium. And my mum is, is looking at me, and she's doing this, and she's going... <laughs> I think that she's telling me to pray. <laughs> and the whole congregation is watching me, so I'm like this, and I'm looking at her, and I'm like... And I go... And she's like... <laughs> and then I realise that everybody is staring right oh. up my head. So I'm like, and I'm like, this, and I go, and I go... <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I always forget that I've worn kilts. It's always a disaster.